Hey all, today we'll be walking through how to open up your first credit spread on the Thinkorswim mobile platform so that you can trade on the go or whenever you don't have access to your computer. First and foremost, this goes without saying, open up the app on your phone. And then you'll see the trade icon on the bottom taskbar, click on that, and this will take you directly to the ticker selection screen. First, type in the ticker that you want to trade. It could be a stock or an ETF, and then click on the option chain directly next to the stock or ticker that you've typed in and want to select. Here, this will take you to the option chain for that specific ticker. In this example, we're going to go with Netflix. Directly below the stock price at the top of your screen, you'll see that options is bolded. This means that you're on the right screen. In this screen, you can switch to chart, news, or profile if you want to, to kind of, you know, to kind of move around, see the chart, read the news. However, for this example, we're just going to stay directly on this options screen to show you how to open up your first credit spread. And in order to trade spreads, you have to make sure to click on spread located directly below IV as indicated on the screen and select vertical to trade credit spreads. There's a lot of other options, but for now, we'll just only click vertical. Next, you'll see directly below that the actual option chain with a lot of dates. Select the date that you want the spread to expire on and it'll drop down the current credit spread pairs. Next, find and click on the strike prices that you want to trade. If you're selling a put credit spread, click on the bid column on the put side and for a call credit spread, the bid column on the call side. In this example, we're going to select 4950 500 Netflix puts. Next, you'll see the purchase screen for us to adjust the quantity and limit price. Double check the information and make sure that the sell is toggled and the box is red. If you're buying a debit spread, the box will be green and the buy will be toggled. Next, adjust the quantity to the desired quantity. In this example, we're just going to sell one. And then adjust the limit price to the desired price that you want to collect your credit for. The limit price will initially be set as the average between the bid and the ask price. After adjusting your limit price, you'll see on the bottom, the cost of the trade has changed. This is how much you'll receive or pay for a trade. So for a credit spread, we'll be receiving money. So in this case, the limit price is 175 in this example. However, we're only receiving 174 of credit as indicated by the bracket around the 174. Underneath that, you'll see the dollar of a commission, which is taken out of our total. So it's 175 minus one, which equals $174 due to that $1 commission that TD will charge us to get this trade filled. Now click review if everything looks good. And then it'll take you to one final screen for you to confirm that everything is correct before placing the order. Here you'll see the order details, including your max profit and max loss on this one trade. Double check all the relevant information, including the strike price and the dates, and click send to send this order in to see if there's a taker. You'll see the confirmation message pop up on the screen. There's a chance that the order goes unfilled, as you see with this example here. If it gets filled immediately, you'll see that you won't see it in the working tab on the screen right now. It will instead show up on the filled tab next to it. If you want to get this order filled immediately, you'll have to readjust it. If not, you can always just leave it and wait for it to fill until the market closes. There's a possibility that no one takes your order, which means that the order will just expire. Here, in this example, we'll show you how to adjust it. Click on the working order that you see on the screen, and you'll see a couple options here. Click on the cancel and replace order option, right below cancel order. You'll see the same review screen that you saw earlier, and here you can readjust your quantity or limit price like you did previously. We'll, keep re we'll readjust our limit price down to see if we can get this order to fill. And if it doesn't fill, we'll keep lowering the limit price until someone takes our order. And once the order is successfully filled, you'll see it disappear from the working tab and show up on the fill tab. And that's it. After all that, you've opened up your first credit spread on the Thinkorswim mobile platform. Now, stay safe, go out there, and happy trading.